We move ahead and look at the factors that affect atmospheric pressure. We talk about one, the height. And we say atmospheric pressure decreases with height. So the higher you go, the lower the pressure. This simply means that your body must also come in a way so that it will be able to accommodate the atmospheric pressure. So if your pressure is high, that will cause a sort of discomfort for you. But remember, once that happens, we, can, we say these are also called medical conditions that our medical doctors can look at. Again, atmospheric pressure depends on temperature. An increase in temperature causes an increase in the atmospheric pressure and vice versa. We want to talk about an experiment to show the presence of atmospheric pressure. One thing you need to take note is this. Once you have a container around, the shape of the container you see is as a result of the atmospheric pressure acting on the container or the air in the container. Once you have air in the container, the particles of the air will exert pressure on the container and that will give it its shape. How then do we know that atmospheric pressure is present? Let's look at the diagram on the screen. We are looking at the diagram on the screen. This is a can. We connect this can to a vacuum pump. What we are going to do is that we are trying to withdraw the air from the can. And after everything, that is the shape you are going to see. So a closed can with a hole at one end is connected to the vacuum pump. The pump is turned on gradually to withdraw the air from the can. And this decreases the pressure inside the can. 